In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the background from images the absolutely easy way. In fact, I was a little embarrassed about how much time I've been spending on this process after finding this completely free tool. YouTube Simplify. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. And if you want to continue to receive notifications on videos that can help you simplify YouTube, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. All right, so we all want to up our thumbnail game, and it can be kind of a challenge. One of the things I see people struggle with the most is trying to remove the background from their headshots. A lot of times, if you don't pull that off right, it makes the entire thumbnail kind of look crappy. So we really don't want to do that, but I found a tool and I had dismissed this tool originally when I heard about it because I'm like, these tools never ever work. And I'm not sponsored. I have no relationship with this tool at all, but it works so well, I had to make a video about it. So I'm going to walk you through the process from beginning to end so you can have perfect headshots to add to your thumbnails on YouTube. All right, so let's jump over to the computer right now. I'm going to show you exactly everything you need to do to cut the background out of your images so you can use them on your YouTube thumbnails. All right, so this process is super quick and easy. We're just gonna go to a browser. We're going to type in remove.bg. That's gonna bring us to this screen. Very simple, straightforward to use. As you can see right here, upload image. You'll also see there's a login and sign up. Now I'm gonna show you a couple uh, things you wanna consider because there is uh, obviously pricing, but they say that it's free. So I'm gonna explain exactly how this works and how to stay in the free area. Plus give you some ideas about when you might wanna consider using the priced version. So uh, just straightforward as far as how this works. Upload image. All right, so we're just going to grab an image. In this case, we're going to use a picture of Casey Neistat here. Uh, obviously, you want to use your own images. I'm just doing this for illustration purposes. Uh, and once you select it, you hit open. It'll automatically upload, and then it'll immediately show you the version with the background removed. Now, uh, as you can see here, it shows you a resolution of 500 by 500 and it shows you the download button. If you click on the download button, you're gonna see preview image and full image. Now, if you're not logged in, you're gonna be able to download these preview images absolutely free with the background removed, uh, and you are you know, can certainly stay uh, in that free zone and continue to get that, what they call a preview image or preview version of it. Uh, what I found just for reference here, this right here is actually, um, two different cutouts. Now I'm going to show you here. This one on the left is the preview version that I got off of Remove BG. Uh, and the one on the right is one that I actually cut out by hand using this software, which is GIMP. Uh, as you can see, they both look very similar. This one, even though I've resized it a little bit larger, still has decent quality. So you could definitely stay in that uh, within the the realm of the free tool and get uh, the uh, a great looking cutout. So it really depends on what you're looking to do. Um, but I will touch on the free pricing just so you can see. And basically, the big difference is the resolution that they're going to be able you're going to be able to download. Uh, so as we look, if we come in here and we click on full image, it'll say that we can get a full size image. You get one free. Uh, other and then it goes into a pricing uh, mode. So if we look at the pricing, it'll kind of give us an idea of what they're doing here. Uh, if you're going to be doing a number of cutouts a month, like their monthly subscription plan is 40 credits a month. And quite frankly, uh, unless you're putting out 40 videos a month, you know, you may not even get close to that. The one thing that I do like, however, is you can buy credits over here on the right hand side so if you're somebody who does this occasionally and then you're probably going to take a couple months to use you know 10 uh, cutouts for example you can spend nine dollars get 10 credits and you're only spending 90 cents an image to have it instantly remove the background and like i said i was a little bit embarrassed about how fast and easy and how good of a job this uh, service does in removing the background. I've been really impressed by it and I know that it takes me, you know, 10 minutes or so just to outline the image and remove the background the way that I have typically done it. So this seems like a great deal, even if you pay the 90 cents an image, but you can certainly get the free version. And as I mentioned, 
this shows that you are still getting a pretty decent quality for from that preview. So it's completely up to you. But that's all there is to it. Once you actually go and upload it, we'll come back in here. You'll see that you have the option to download. It will download your image uh, with the background removed, and then you can use that uh, any way you want. And the great thing about remove.bg is it also works on mobile. You can just go into your camera roll, grab a photo right from your phone, and upload it to remove.bg, and it handles the process the same way. Once you have your cutout, you can save it locally. It's a little bit funky on an iPhone. Uh, you actually want to view the image uh, here on this screen and then click the share button and then you can put that uh, somewhere, either send it straight to Google Drive or save it locally. Um, but uh, otherwise, it uh, works the same way and uh, allows you to be able to create thumbnails with cutouts right there on your phone. And hey, don't forget this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is your number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free. There's a link in the description below, or you can go to trytubebuddy.today and get started for free. And hey, now that you know how to make quality headshots that you can add to your thumbnails, click on this video right here, and I'm gonna walk you through the process about how you can make custom thumbnails using these cutouts right on YouTube itself. I'll see you in the next video.